Hey everybody, this is Pastor Ben Lim with The Breaker, and I'm so excited in this series because God is the Lord of the breakthrough. It doesn't matter what you're experiencing in your life, in this season, the Lord of the breakthrough will come forth with the host of angels and angel armies, and you shall see deliverance and the breakthrough and the hand of God begin to manifest in your life. Listen, today I have my very good friend, Prophetess Sherelle Barrera, all the way from Tri-Cities, Washington. God bless you, woman of God. We're so excited to have you today as we talk about dreams and visions and stewarding the prophetic. God bless you. Welcome. Thank you for having me, Pastor Ben. I'm excited. Yeah, so good. You know, uh, the Bible says that in these end times, he's going to pour out his spirit and that old men will dream dreams, young men will have visions, and that even your sons and daughters, your children shall prophesy. So God is pouring out his spirit like never before. And, uh, you know, I know you move in a very incredible uh, prophetic gift. You move in an incredible gift. I know God speaks to you in dreams and visions. So, yeah. you know, talk to us. Uh, you know, is there a dream or a vision and encounter you had recently that really marked you and that really shifted you? I would have to say that uh, a lot of the dreams and visions I've been having lately, I just get glimpses of things that are happening. So I never fully get the full extent, but it's like the Lord gives me snippets to encourage me in the season that we're in. So uh, recently, I'm trying to think of the most recent one I had was um, I woke up and I began to hear the song, The Walls of Jericho Are Coming Down. And it was just playing in my head over and over and over. And so I came downstairs and I put on soaking music and I went back into a dream and vision state. And I saw people all over the world, millions of us, just celebrating President Trump. And I mean, I don't know what that looks like, but I just know, you know, God has given me so many visions and so many dreams of things like that. even my children, my son, uh, Samuel, back in July, he had a vision that the election was going to be rigged. He said, Mom, he came into my room, he bursted through the door and he said, Mom, I had a dream and Biden won the election, but then it turned out that the votes were rigged and Trump back got back in and people ended up going to jail. And I know there's, you know, there's a lot of things swirling around about all this and everything, but it's just there's been so much confirmation um, of things that are going on. We know there's corruption. We know there is hidden corruption. And I believe that God is a just God. And I believe that his justice is going to reign in this season. Um, God cares for the unborn. He cares about the things that we care about. And so I do believe he is speaking through his prophets, through his children, even the young ones. Um, even last year, uh, I had a vision and I went live. I felt crazy going live about this because nobody was talking about this. Well, actually, this was in 2019. Uh, the Lord told me to go live. I had a vision. The Lord took me into intercession for President Trump. And I was like seeing all the riots and the fires and everything that happened throughout this last year. And I began to get worried in my spirit. And, and I saw Trump on his knees and I saw him in great distress. And the Lord said, don't worry, I'm sending Michael. I'm sending Michael. I'm sending Michael. And immediately I was contacted by a radio host that said, we need to get you over here to Seattle. Uh, I, we don't know who you are, but we've had an intercession group for months now, fasting and praying and petitioning God to send Michael to America. So every time God has given me a dream or a vision, he confirms it immediately. And then we just had another um, prophet. I believe it was, um, you know, I can't think of the name right this moment, uh, but he just came out about a month ago and said that the Lord showed him that God was sending Michael to America. 
Wow. So, wow. You know, you know uh, just uh, recently, actually, I had a dream. Uh, and again, I, I joke all the time because I say I'm a young man, so I have more visions than dreams. But uh -huh. I had a dream. I was at Sid Roth's studio. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was sitting where the guest usually sits. And across was Sid. And on my right was two of my associates. Mm -hmm. But then across from me was not Sid as he usually sits, but it was his angel. And it was uh, uh, like a Native American, Hispanic looking man in a cowboy suit with bullets on his chest. And the Lord spoke to me and said, this is Michael. And the Lord spoke to me and said that uh, Sid Roth's angel is the Archangel Michael, which is of course the warrior, guardian, protect wow. angel of war. And that Michael, uh, overshadows uh, Sid Roth and, and the, its supernatural network, and that God is releasing Michael in the season. So I think that's incredible. But, uh, you know, so there's all this swirl right now about the angel, the archangel Michael in the season. And people might be asking, why Michael? Why specifically Michael Michael? Well, because God is releasing enforcement and protection for mm -hmm. people, and I believe in for President Trump and the president. Uh, his administration, his family, God is releasing protection. So right now there is a war in the heavenlies. So mm -hmm. different prophetic voices such as yourself, God is releasing information and the confirmation for it to follow. Now, I think what you said is really important. Whenever God gives you a dream or a vision, there will be a confirmation or a manifestation in the yes. natural. And it may not be instant, but it will come forth. But there will always be a confirmation in the natural to confirm the prophetic word of God. What do you think about this? That God will confirm in the natural. And sometimes it may be delayed. But whatever God reveals in dreams and visions in the spirit realm, it will be confirmed in the natural. Talk to us. Well, you know what? We're on God's timing. Some people get upset because they get a dream or a vision and they don't see it come to pass right away. But God wants us to steward that prophetic word. We're supposed to water that word by faith. So the Bible says to think on things above. If we get dreams and visions and we let doubt creep in and we start saying, well, I don't know about that. I don't know why God would show me that. <laughs> then we're not partnering with our faith. So how we water these prophetic words is we partner with our faith. So we sow into these dreams and visions by believing God at his word and believing that he will bring it to come to pass on his timeline, not our timeline. We, we got to understand that God is sovereign and that he has a plan in his own agenda. And man has got to stop thinking that everything has got to revolve around how he thinks it should be. God, God is, he is, he's, he's amazing. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> we and just have to trust him. Yeah. And his ways and his thoughts are higher. But what I tell people is though his ways and his thoughts are higher, the more we elevate and ascend the hill of the Lord in purity, mm -hmm. the more we have his mind, the mind of Christ, because yeah. I don't people of God, the will and the mind of Christ, the, the will of God is not a far off, distant, unknown thing. No, the will of God is known. It is revealed. It is made manifest. In fact, the Bible says that God does nothing on the earth unless he first reveals it to his prophets, his friends. And I believe right now there is a distinction that's being made. Are you moving in the office of a prophet? Or are you his friend? And when you are his friend, he will reveal intimate, deeper, more personal yes. secrets with you that doesn't necessarily have to do with the signs of the times, but it has to do with the heart of God. Now, I believe right now in this season, God is saying, I want to reveal and release to you the secrets and the mysteries of God. I want to give you the pearls of wisdom and the treasures of darkness that have been hidden according to Isaiah 45. But will you have an ear to hear? Will you choose to lean into me? Because the whispers of the Holy Ghost is being released now. And he's calling up the remnant to begin to listen to him in intimacy. Not just to speak a word, 
not just to preach a word, but to be with him. And I believe there's a distinction that's being made right now, prophet. So here, as we're talking about stewarding the prophetic and encountering God in dreams and visions, I know there's a lot of people watching right now saying, I want to experience the Lord in dreams and visions. How do I steward this gift? How do I steward this intimate realm with God? How do I do this? How do we do this, prophets? You have to pull yourself away from the world. You have to separate yourself. You have to be set apart. Uh, you have to allow God to purify you, purify your thoughts, purify the things that you do. You know, when I started hearing from the Lord really clearly, I went on a 21 day Daniel fast and I, I came away from everything that the Lord told me. He told me to give up certain shows. He told me to give up certain things that I used to do. And it was like suddenly everything just started opening up in the spirit realm. He just began to give me dreams and visions. You know, it says you can't fill an old wineskin. So if we're walking around with all this old stuff in us and we're not allowing God to empty us, and renew us and refresh us how can he pour anything in to that wineskin so we have to empty ourselves out and allow the lord to pour himself in and the more he does that the more pure we become the more we become like him the more we steward a relationship with him the more we know him and we know his thoughts the more we become like him <laughs> I think this is one of the greatest questions that people have. And people ask me this all the time, uh, even as we move into prophetic office of ministry. How do I know if it's just a pizza dream? Maybe it's the bad pizza that I had yesterday. Uh, or, or how do I know if it's not my soul or if it's not my mind? Am I making this up? Or how do I know if this is the Holy Spirit that's speaking to me in dreams, visions, and prophetic words and encounters? How, how, how do we discern this, prophetess? You know, I feel that you will have a check in your spirit. You will know that the Lord is speaking to you because it's almost like you've got to have a fear and a reverence of the Lord. So when we have a fear and a reverence of the Lord, we're not going to want to just speak things for no reason, right? I know because some of the things that the Lord was showing me, I didn't even want to speak them out. I, I thought people are going to say I'm crazy. People are going to think I'm, you know, way out there. But the Lord just gave, he kept prompting me. And so we, that's why it's so important to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit so that we know when he's speaking and we know when he's prompting us. And we've got to learn how to tame our flesh. Too many people want to just jump out and do things because it looks great or they want to be seen or they want to be heard. Most of the time when you know it's really God, your heart is pounding. You're, you're afraid. You're kind of just like, oh, Lord, I don't know if I can do this. But he's prompting and he's pushing because you have that relationship with him. Uh, very good. Yeah, what I tell people is, you know, it's God. If it's bigger than your finances, it's bigger yeah. than your work, you know it's God. If it's way beyond your natural abilities and skills and gifts, you know it's God. Uh, any word, of course, it will edify and comfort you. But any word that God uh, is giving to you or any message, it will challenge you. Because the word of God will always challenge, will always convict and cause you to come up higher. By the way, people, I love what Prophet Sherelle said. If you have a check in your spirit, you can write it out to Ben Lim, okay? <laughs> uh, you got a check in your spirit, write it out to Ben Lim. Anyway, but I think it's so important, once again, we need to understand, oh, is the spirit of God grieved? Because the Bible says, do not grieve the Holy Spirit. But there are certain things that will grieve our spirit because it does not bear witness with our spirit. What does that mean? It doesn't have an alignment it doesn't light a bulb it, it doesn't bring life okay and so you need to learn to protect your inner circle your mind your thoughts you need to learn to uh again close certain doors so that you could open up those doors to the holy ghost and uh you need to learn to discern i believe right now god wants to release a greater measure of discernment so that people can be able to distinguish 
What is God? What is my soul? And what is the enemy? Because remember, you could have good intentions, but it doesn't mean it's God. You know, and so yeah. many people even throughout 2020 said, oh, you know, uh, don't go to church, wear face masks, you know, hand sanitize yourself until you're dry. And, uh, you know, and so so many people have good intentions, but it doesn't mean it's God. And yeah. we need to be led by the voice of the Holy Spirit. Now, I believe that God is drawing a generation out of the urban cities and the conundrum of the day and is bringing them into the wilderness so that we can be trained to discern the voice of our beloved one. Now, right now, prophetess, as we're bringing uh, the show to a close, I know, uh, you know, it's moving so fast right now. I want you to begin to pray for these people that are saying, Pastor Ben, I, I want to experience God in dreams and visions. Maybe you're watching and you're, you have dreams. But you're being tormented by the devil. You're being tormented by confusion and with your soul. Uh, I believe God wants to release the spirit and the gift of discernment so that you can come up higher and think like Christ. So, prophetess, I want you to pray. But before you pray, do you have any last words before you release an anointing and the impartation to our people here? Yes, I just want to encourage the people to stop watching the news. <laughs> Go to your Bible. God is speaking right now, and he wants to speak to you. He wants a relationship with you. He wants you to know that he is for you. He is not against you. God has good plans for your life. And I just believe that many people that are hearing this today, you're feeling something right now. You're feeling the fire of God. It's beginning to touch your heart and your spirit. I see anxiety leaving right now. And I just, oh, I just release the fire of God over you in Jesus' name. Shakarabasa. Thank you, Lord. So you want me to pray now? Yes, you can pray. Okay. Just flow, my God. Yes. All right. Father God, I just release a breaker anointing upon your children and your people. I just ask you, Father, to send the hosts of heaven over those watching, Lord God. I just declare that anxiety, depression, and oppression is broken off in the mighty name of Jesus. I just see the Lord releasing encouragement over you. Father, I pray, Lord, that people's minds and spirits come back into alignment. I pray, Father God, that they will begin to turn away from the things of this world, Lord. I pray that, God, that you will stir up the fear of God in them again, Lord, that they will have a fear and a reverence of you, that they will not fear man, but they will fear you, God, they will have a holy reverence, Lord. And I just pray that, God, that you bring purification. You're bringing, I just come in agreement right now with heaven, that God is raising a pure remnant right now. Shakarabasa. And in Jesus' name, eyes and hearts are coming awake. Spirits are coming into alignment. And Father, I just pray that you will bring comfort over your people right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Whew. And they will be awakened in the mighty name of Jesus. Ha! God has released the angel of awakening and a revival over America. Ha! Shakata. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah, and I just sense right now, woman of God, that many people, uh, they haven't, uh, been stewarding the prophetic words that have been spoken. And so many people have lost hope. Uh, again, the Bible says hope deferred makes the heart sick. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people have lost hope and who I feel the Holy Ghost and have, in a sense, compromised and have given up the fight uh, in protecting the purity of the word. So I see right now that God is giving people an upgrade and a strength so that you will begin to steward the things of God afresh and again in your life. So yeah. I'll just release that over you. Just any disappointment and discouragement be broken off of you. And uh, that there's going to be an ability for you to begin to steward and take care and maintain and multiply 
the garden of glory that he's deposited into you in this season in the name of Jesus. Woo. Wow. You know, I, I really sense this woman of God, you know, even as we're bringing the show today on the breaker to a close right now, God has given people an upgrade of understanding. Remember, seven spirits of God. I pray that God will give you a spirit of understanding so that you will understand and know how to continue to stay above and to continue to steward the things of God. Wow, incredible. We release that to you today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Sherelle Barrera, it was so great to have you today on our show, The Breaker. And Thank I know that you carry a breaker anointing, especially in the realm of dreams, visions, and encounters. Now, mm -hmm. I want you to talk to us. How can people find you, follow you on social media, and support you and your ministry? So you can find my website at www.sherelle.com. Barrera.com. And you can also follow my Facebook under Sherelle Barrera. And then my ministry page is Sherelle Barrera Ministries. And you and your husband, Pastor Mel, y'all also have an incredible church plant. Talk to us. Oh, man, it's been amazing. We've been seeing miracles, signs, and wonders. And we just, we let the Holy Spirit flow. We let the Holy Spirit take over every service. And it's just been amazing. We see people come in and they don't come back the next Sunday the same. They come back transformed. They come back changed. And so that's what we are all about. We are just about... Uh, imparting into people and seeing the Lord transform lives. Who? It's Amen. been and wonderful. Your church is, is what? 509 Revival Hub. And where is it found? Where is it located? In Kennewick, Washington, in the Tri-City. Washington, where the wick is always on fire. <laughs> well, we're so proud of you and Mel and uh, your whole family. Thanks. And you just keep on keeping oh, on it. Uh, can't wait to be with you very soon. So thank you so much for joining us. I'm excited. Oh thank you. Yes. People of God, this is Pastor Ben Lim. Today I had our incredible friend and guest, Prophet Sherelle Barrera, on The Breaker, where God is releasing a breaker anointing for you in the realm of dreams, visions, and stewarding your prophecies. I want you to comment below. I want you to subscribe. I want you to give us a like. What did you enjoy today? What did you receive from today's show? And uh, thank you. Until next time.